Hey, it's Lee from Lazarus Homestead, and it's time for another What's for Dinner. This time I'm making Sloppy Joe casserole. Saw this on Mandy in the making, and I'll put her link in my description box. It looked scrumptious. So, follow me along, guys. Lazaric Homestead. Real people. Real living. Alright, so I have corn on the cob going. It started, and it says to use a very high sided skillet. This is the highest side skillet that I have. So I'm just browning up some hamburgers, one pound. And once this is browned, we'll add um, some onions, which I have here. I have um, one, one small onion, and it was about half a cup or so, give or take. All right, I'm going to add my onions. Put those all mixed in and get those a little bit cooked. And then we're going to cook for about five more minutes or until the onions are softened and we're going to drain it. Alright, so I'm going to take it off the heat and I am going to drain. Get all the fat out of hamburg mixture. It wasn't that much. But I'm going to do another paper towel of it just in case. Put that right over here on a... Actually, I don't need to. Alright, so I'm all done with that. So now we're going to add the liquids. We're going to add the manwich, and I'm using the bold one can. And for good measure, you know me, I get everything out. We're paying for it, so I'm going to buy, leave it in the can. to add the chicken broth, which the chicken broth is two and a half cups. And undrained diced tomatoes, one can. That's that. Now we're going to get that mixture to a boil. So we're going to put it back on the heat. And we are going to stir this all up. And we're going to get it to boiling. So when it starts boiling, I'll bring you back. So I just had half a can left of the broth and I just shoved it in there because it calls for three quarters of a pound of the pasta, but I'm using one box, which would have been 16 ounces of pasta, so it's going to be a little extra pasta. And that was my jars. So I had the oven preheating, but I didn't need the oven. I don't know why I even did that. I think because they in this recipe, she did it in a cast iron, and then she put it in there to melt the cheese, but we're not going to have to do that. So I'm sh I shut the oven back off. So it's coming up to a gentle boil. So I'm going to add the pasta. And I'm using the bow ties. Pull them off my shelf. Okay, and we're going to stir that up to combine that. And you want the pasta under that water. 
we're going to get under that broth, I mean. So we're going to cover and let it boil gently till it's al dente and stir it a few times so that this pasta don't stick to the bottom and then we'll taste test the noodle and then once that's done I will reduce the low stir in it's supposed to be a cup of corn frozen corn. I had this much left of my Thrive Life, so I'm going to throw that in there. It's not a full cup. It's probably a half a cup, but that's okay. And then we'll add in um, eight ounces of cubed Velveeta, which I just happened to have a 16 ounce box in my fridge. So got that all cubed up. So we'll bring you back. All right. So All right, um, it's al dente, so I'm going to reduce the heat to low. I took it off the burner. There's a little bit of liquid at the bottom, but not a whole lot. So we're going to stir, stir in the corn. I did not rehydrate this corn in water. I just took it right out of the can. So we're going to let it rehydrate in this casserole. Alright, so now we're going to add in the cubed Velveeta and dropping it in in cubes helps it to melt down and this was eight ounces. Whoops, sorry I just hit you guys but that's to be expected in this tiny kitchen I have like you guys my tripod is like right here on me <laughs> so we're going to just get all these cubes dropped in. Place the cover on the pot and let that cheese melt. We're going to let that be on low and we're going to let that melt and I'll bring you back in a minute. All right, so all the Velveeta is melted. Now it says take one and a half cups cheddar cheese, but I only have the Fiesta one. So we're going to just take, and it says two cups, so we're just going to sprinkle it in here. Just use it up. Let that melt the cheese down and we'll bring you back. Look at that cheese, guys. Oh, yum. Oh, my goodness. Here, bring your bowl over here. Or do you want to try it first? Is it hot, man? It's, yeah, I just, yeah. So, I'm gonna do a taste test. I'll be right back. Oh my god, Sierra's cheese is all melty. Mm, it's hot. There we go. Mm. Oh my. That's that manwich, jar of manwich sauce. Oh, look at the cheese. Mmm, this is good. You like it? This is hard. It's okay. Mmm, mmm. I 
like that flavor from the manwich sauce. And I'm not a manwich eater, but I would eat it in this. try it. I'll put the link in the description box. Chris is eating a carb dinner. The rice was for lunch. <laughs> What'd you just take a bite of? The pasta you made. That's got the manwich sauce in it? Yeah, it's the bold flavored manwich. It's actually really good. The I know. The just kicks. And I don't like manwich, and I already had two bowls of that and three bowls of the rice. <laughs> so good. But no, this is this is good recipe right here. Definitely a keeper. I am. I got that on Mandy in the making. I'm actually going to take some of this to work tomorrow. Oh, it's going to taste even better tomorrow. Even better. Yeah, buddy. Oh, my God. Sierra's cheese was just as long as her leg. I swear to God, her arm or her leg, it was so long, it was just hanging down. It was so cheesy. She actually ate some of this? She did, yeah. She oh. said she would have liked it less manwichy taste. Probably the regular can of manwich would have been better. Yeah. But, no, yeah, good. Sometimes with that extra kick of a taste, it kind of helps out with uh, your internal system. Oh, well, well, we know that's going to be the case for you. All right. No, but I mean like like a spicy stuff. Yeah. Uh, with a zesty taste, it cleans out your system to where you can breathe better. Tell me what you taste in the rice. I want to see if you get it. Well, there's definitely no arsenic. <laughs> no arsenic. Half a jar of salsa. Game of salt. No. It's the recipe that Jaleel sent me, but that didn't taste like that at the cook at the thing. So I don't know if that's the exact recipe, but I don't know. But it was good. All right, I'm going to let the man eat. Bye, everybody. Okay, how many plates is that? Two. That's your second plate? Yeah, but it was mounted. Nine-inch pie plate, people. It's his last bite. I hear him moaning and groaning over here. Dude, I'm, I'm <laughs> fighting this battle right now. <laughs> <laughs> I needed my plate, that's why. Uh, <laughs> get away. I can't eat no more. Okay. You want me? I'm not going to want to move from this chair. That's all right. No, because I want to go over there and sit in that chair and watch TV with you. Okay. He can't sit on the couch with me because he falls asleep like within I'd a minute. Out. I'd be a out. minute. I'd be, wait, I'd be looking like I'm waiting for a dentist. So, I lay over here. And he sits right here, and we watch the TV, because he will fall asleep if he sits on the couch cushion. Will you not? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be all cold. And it's a TV show he wants to watch and requests, and then he falls asleep. <laughs> That's why I sit at the desk now. <laughs> all right, I'm going to clean up. Was it a good dinner? Oh, yeah. He's holding his belly. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. I'm going to have to roll the work tomorrow. Oh, boy. But he does want to take some leftovers for work tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Just so I can hear the guys at work. What do you got? None of your business. <laughs> but some of the guys would be like, Yeah, I saw that video. That's a good recipe. <laughs> All right, guys. Toodaloo. But, try it. It was good, people. It was good. <laughs> if I had enough room in my stomach, I'd lick that plate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, everybody. Goodbye.